welcome to my channel AJ Studio. Uh, today we are going to study uh, Bresenheim's line drawing algorithm. We'll see how this exactly works. Uh, before that, uh, let me show the code. I'll just maximize the window. Everybody, you can see the code. I'll just uh, oh, you can take a screenshot of this uh, at any time you want. It's quite a big code. So please take a screenshot of this uh, code. See, there are a few functions are used. Uh, I'll just uh, tell uh, what are the functions are used. Then we will trace the program uh, line by line uh, using the breakpoints. So if you want to know how to put the breakpoints, you can uh, go through one of my video, which I uploaded later, uh, which will be at the top uh, link. Um, now we will see what are the functions we are using. So this is my main function. These things are my main function. Just to take the input here, you can see this is to just uh, take the input, uh, starting vertex and ending vertex. These are initialization functions, and this is, uh, as you know, display mode, and is a single uh, buffer. And you are using RGB color model. And I'm taking uh, uh, window size as 400, 400. And uh, I'm taking a position of the window uh, 800 by x axis and 50 by y axis. And uh, as you know, uh, create window. This is just to create a name of the window. I'll take Brissenham's line drawing algorithm. And of course, there are two more uh, uh, functions are there. So these two function one is display, one more is reshape display. It's a callback function. We are calling uh, user defined uh, function display here reshape is also a callback function here you are using resize and main loop uh, just to make sure that the program is inside the loop uh, so that every time the program runs continuously until you click close or exit button okay so you can see this is uh, my resize uh, uh, function uh, you're taking two parameters width and height so it is a callback function which you are called here. So anyhow, a GL metric mode projection for whatever the drawing you do, you need projections. And in OpenGL, everything is interpreted in terms of matrix. That is why matrix mode load identity is to maintain the identity of the object. Even load identity means it's called the identity matrix. And here it is a 2D program. I'm using orthographic projection. That is why GLU ortho 2D. There are four parameters are there and the first parameter is a left this is right and w is sorry uh, uh, this is right this is the bottom and this is top like x min x max y min y max so this is ortho 2d and of course uh, last you have to initialize the viewport how i must uh, see the window so initially i'm taking x and y as zero initially and width and height and with that height is anyhow it is initialized over here so window size 400 400 same thing it will take here when we uh, trace the program we'll understand of course the display initially i'm clearing the buffer uh, color buffer bit by bit and i'm taking the slope this is the formula of the slope m and in slope there are two conditions are there m greater than or, uh, equal to one or less than okay if it is greater than equal to uh, you should call this function okay if it is less than you should call this function uh, there is two uh, you should go through the derivation of resonance so that you will understand better so wide uh, line resonance uh, this is for less than it is else part here you are you uh, calculating dx uh, dy and this is a formula p P is equal to 2 into dy minus dx is the formula for resonance and uh, um, calculating 2 dy for calculation purpose 2 dy the same thing then 2 dy minus dx uh, 2 into dy minus dx then of course here uh, you can see here initially I'm taking x is equal to x naught y is equal to y naught and if uh, the starting position is greater than uh, x zero is starting position and x end is ending position of x if x uh, initial position is greater than uh, uh, final point uh, you will interchange the value just to interchange okay same see here x and I'll put it in x uh, y and I'll put it in y and initial point I'll take it as x and so i'm just interchanging if 
uh, initial value is greater than x n. Otherwise, uh, else, uh, same thing. You can see x not x, y not, uh, you'll put it in y. And afterwards, after everything is done, you will call set pixel. Okay, set pixel is a function where you will uh, call the set pixel function. The same thing, uh, this is a while loop uh, just to find out for uh, uh, y axis line. If it is a y axis, uh, x axis, sorry, x axis line. Okay, uh, this is x uh, till. Uh, well, when this will be false when this will be false means uh, we'll start with x when uh, x less than x end it will be true when the x end uh, x is greater then if it will come out of the loop that means iteration is done you can see that x you are uh, incrementing every time because uh, initially if i take x is 0 and x uh, end is 100 so the the iteration will go 100 times so 1 2 3 4 every time uh, x will be incremented so you are finding out the p okay uh, the p if uh, that is a p is equal to p into 2 dy this is a formula okay so else if m is less than zero slope uh, if it is less than zero y minus minus because you are decrementing the y otherwise you will increment y same way afterwards you will um, calculate the p okay you will call set pixel the same way uh, it will work for uh, greater than and formulas are different i'll not go through that again and again uh, here and final i'll come for set pixel you can see set pixel there are one is uh, one parameter is x coordinate and one more uh, is y coordinate and uh, you are drawing points gl begin is a primitive so gl begin primitive i'm using the primitive gl points there are different different primitives are there like lines shapes other things are there uh, triangles so i'm using points here so the afterwards um uh, you can see over here you are going to uh, plot that okay you are going to plot that gl vertex 2 gl vertex 2 means two parameter i means integer x coordinate y coordinate afterwards you will end it okay after beginning you should end and after everything uh, drawing is done you will flush it flush it. Uh, it will execute all the open uh, open gl function quickly as possible so just uh, flush all the things from the frame buffer to display okay it will flush whatever the things are in frame buffer to display now uh, let me come back to the program and i'll enable the uh, all the breakpoints okay i'll take a small value to debug the program so i'll take a it started with the int main okay it started with int main always the program starts with the int main debugging i'll continue you can see here continue so it went uh, the, uh, this line went to printf now press and line drawing algorithm i'll just continue okay then again uh, it went to this line that is uh, third line okay again i'll continue okay then it will ask for the value see you can see it is in scanf now uh, percentage by x1 y1 so it will ask for input you can see uh, enter the starting vertex x1 y1 i will take the initial value as 10 space 10 so x1 as 10 y1 as 10 i'll press enter okay uh, okay uh, if you want to know what is the value it's just mouse over you can see here x1 is 10 if i mouse over y1 is 10 okay so i'll continue uh, so you are giving ending vertex now so you should give ending vertex it will take ending vertex you can see x2 y2 okay i'll take uh, actually i want to draw a vertical uh, not vertical line horizontal line i'll take 15 and 10 so of course 10 10 and 15 10 of course you are incrementing uh, x by uh, plus 5 so of course it is a uh, what type of line horizontal line i'll press enter okay so here you can see x2 is uh, 15 and y2 is 50, uh, 10 okay uh, now we'll continue with the the program uh, glutinate glutinate display mode it will go to glutinate you can see this yellow line how the flow will happen i'll press uh, continue uh, init position window then it will go to create window then it will go you can see it is asking for uh, this one so we'll just uh, okay then uh, reshape function then of course glut main loop uh, which will be in the loop uh, continuously 
so array size uh, then matrix mode projection load identity then it will set the orthographic projection ortho 2d since it is a 2d uh, viewport you are setting the viewport you can see w and hr 100 you can see 400 400 over here you are taking 400 window size the same value you can see w and h w w is uh, 400 h is 400 so we'll continue the program while display clearing the buffer okay then you can see i'm finding out the m value initially m value will be junk value you can see what is the m value you can see m value is zero why m value is zero uh, because uh, 10 minus 10 0 uh, 15 minus 10 so numerator is 0 divided by anything it will be 0 so m value will be 0 okay then of course if fabs of that is uh, floating point absolute m is greater than or equal to so of course it will be false because m value is 0 0 is greater than or equal to 1 so it will go to for, uh, else part else so less than it will go to less than so uh, you can see uh, it will go to less than function uh, definition so x naught is 10 uh, y naught is 10 uh, x end is 15 y end is 10 and m value you can see it is 0 and i'm also over so it will find out dx now okay dx uh, you can see the dx value it is junk value it is showing junk value dx now we'll see what is dx of course uh, you can see the change dx value dx value is 5 dx value is 5 uh, of course what is uh, dy dy of course you know it is 0 where is dy uh, here it is dy is uh, 0 just i'll show you yeah dy is uh, 0 over here here also yeah dy is 0 okay then uh, you should find out p uh, p is minus 5 p is what minus 5 uh, by the calculation you can calculate here uh, don't need to calculate uh, everything will be calculated by visual studio using breakpoints it will calculate so uh, 2 dy 2 dy is uh, 0 2 dy is 0 okay then 2 dy minus dx is uh, minus 10 you'll get minus 10 so if x greater than x is 10 and x end is 15 then of course uh, x greater uh, whether it is true or false you can see it is 10 is greater than 15 so there will be no problem here because x is small x zero if the starting point is bigger then only you should swap then only you should swap here so it will go for else you can see it is go for else so x naught is whatever the x naught value that is 10 value will be put in x We'll see uh, x value. Uh, just wait. We'll see where is the x. Yes, x value is ten. So y value is also ten. Okay. So it will call set pixel now. It will call set pixel. X is ten. Y is ten. So I'll continue. Okay. So it will call set pixel. So x coordinate is ten. Y coordinate is. 10. Uh, if you want to know what uh, what is happening you can see this is a create window over here so nothing is there so now because nothing is drawn now okay now i'll begin begin the drawing i'm drawing points actually here uh, and the vertex 2i uh, 2i okay that is two coordinate uh, uh, two vertex uh, that is x and y 2 i means integer x coordinate is 10 and y coordinate is 10 so i'll end the drawing and i'll flush flush means i'm going to display it flush is nothing but displaying okay after flushing it you can see if you want to see the first point on the screen i hope it is visible uh, there is a single point is visible single point over there uh, one point is visible over there first point is drawn so second point so same way you should do uh, for uh, next iteration while will be iterated for next time so every time x will be incremented now x is 10 now of course x will be 11 still how much so uh, till 15 when it reaches 15 it will come out of the loop so we'll see how exactly this works i am going to press uh, continue continue again i'm going to plot the pixel now you can see x coordinate is 11 because x is incremented y is same 10 okay so and flush flush means it will flush the whatever uh, there in the frame buffer it will be uh, flush it to display so again uh, if you want to see you can see uh, the second point there 
same thing uh, it will go x will be incremented x will be incremented uh, then again set pixel now you can see x coordinate is 12 you can see x coordinate is 12 same thing it will continue i'll just press uh, i'll continue this yes 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 i'll just press go on pressing this so you can see now x value is 13 now now the same thing uh, x is 14 you can see x is 14 it will continue again uh, while uh, of course uh, for value of x 14 and this is 15 again it will enter true same thing 15 now x value is 15 now uh, now you can see x, uh, x value x coordinate i mean x coordinate is 15 so again uh, gl and gl flush and uh, it will continue and again it will be called Okay, and now you can see it has came out of the loop because 15 minus 15 is uh, false okay again it will come out and it will display uh, yeah it will take some time i hope you can see here a line is drawn uh, it is a horizontal line the first line uh, everybody i hope you can see the line just wait you can see there something wrong in the output so So you will get the output for this. I'll just uh, disable and again I'll run this. Directly run this program. So the line I have given was 1010 10 and 1510. So you'll get this output. You can see here. Just wait. Uh, uh, I'll get the output. Yeah, you can see the over the here. So first point was 1010, second point was 1510. So it is a horizontal line. So I hope you understood the program and how you can uh, trace the program using breakpoints. Just uh, debug, enable the breakpoint and it will be enabled. All the breakpoints will enable. And of course, you start with debug. So always uh, debugging starts from um, int main. You can see. Uh, the line into main so it just click on this uh, continue every time it will continue from line to line and all the things whatever are there okay so it will ask the input whatever the input you have given here like 10 or uh, 10 10 uh, everything will be displayed in this locals okay everything will be uh, displayed here so whatever the values you are initializing everything will be displayed here if you are having if it is not displaying just don't worry moves over on this you can see uh, x1 is uh, 10 and y1 is 10 the same thing whenever i take input here here initially it is zero now here even x2 is zero because i haven't given any value till now after you give okay moves over on that so it will show the value so i hope you have understood this uh, program and please don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel please do for uh, subscribe okay thank you so much thank you so much